keen to buy a property in Portugal, specifically central Portugal, you're going to want to watch this video where I interview Maria from Remax Castelo Branco. Okay, so my name is Maria. Um, I work in this office mm, a little bit more than 20 years, so we are quite the oldest office in all central Portugal, in all the region. Uh, our staff is pretty much the same as the beginning, so usually the customers that met us like 20 years ago, 18 years ago, they still come to us because we are still here, so whatever help they need, we are always here. We are like emergency number for everyone, we're going to be for you also. So. Uh, Oh, that's excellent. So now for other foreigners coming into the central Portugal area, yeah. wanting to buy a property, why should they come to your agency? Okay, I think, you know, I don't like to say we are the best, but uh, definitely we have the biggest knowledge in, um, in the region because we are very old on the business. Also, we all understand pretty much um, about land actually everyone here has a their own plot their own farm so everyone here in the in the in the office grows their own food vegetables fruit and animals we are friend animals friend um so um so i think it's very important when you when you present a product to someone you need to know the product very very well otherwise if you don't know all you know the little tricks about it then you cannot uh, help um, the other person on the other side. Yeah, and I see everybody in on your staff speaks English. Yes, as we well. do speak different languages. We do have lots of knowledge about different areas, not only about the properties itself, not only about the region itself, also on the legal side. Um, so pretty much we can help a customer from the beginning of the process in all the documents, in all the steps until uh, they settle down and we also do that part for them so we also help them that's why i'm telling you whatever you need in the future you always come to our door so i have people that call me 10 o'clock in the evening asking me maria how do i change the bottle of gas you know this is crazy mm. for many people but you know um this is a simple thing for us but a very difficult for different people mm. so so we help you doing a fence if you need um put a new roof whatever you know giving contacts with no charge okay it's something mm. we provide because if i went to another country i will you know need all the help i can mm. get so so what you offering um people who are coming to buy here is like a really good after sales service yes i think and i usually say to everyone our job starts when we finish the process so after we finish the sale you know with an author thing and everything registration that's when our real job starts because people that's when they really need our help because they have no clue where you know sometimes they need to buy a tractor which is um you know a basic thing for us but you know if you come from another place if you don't speak mm. the language you, you really need uh, someone to help you so uh, you know sometimes they need just to connect electricity to put internet which is you know basic these days they need to sometimes make a boot hole connect mm. means water you know all these little things that for us are quite easy it can be a big problem for you know yeah, for many people could yes. be overwhelming yes and yeah. it could be a little bit stressful in the beginning so we want to take that stress away you know to for you know to be a smooth process you know because yeah. when you have too much stress little things make you get crazy so uh if you have somebody on your side say hey come on this is the easy way you know this is there's a, a simple thing uh, to be done so don't uh, you know don't get yeah so i was quite impressed that you had uh, staff took me down to go and get my um, fiscal number yeah open the bank account sort out the whole power of attorney with the notary so that I think is excellent service as well that your um, agency yes. offers. Yes, that's the service we provide before the, you know, before the purchase itself. So before the final step, which is always at the notar. But as I was telling you, that's quite important because we take care of everything. But after the sale, we take care of everything as well. So, and I think sometimes people even appreciate more that, you know, because, um, yeah. you know, to be able to stay on their place and, um, switch the button if there is electricity if not 
you know, uh, there's yeah. other alternative ways. And you were saying that uh, people even use your um, uh, Remax branch over here as a, like for their postal address, that they get their parcel sent here from Amazon? Oh, okay, uh, Cindy, you know, this office, as you can see, is the oldest office in, in all the region, so it's quite, you know, it should have a little renovation. Everyone tells, come mm -hmm. on guys, you should renovate the office, come on, everyone has like a Porsche office and so, that's true, but you know, lack of time and we are very practical people also so people when they come they really feel at home you know just come they can use a computer you know um, we talk about so many things sometimes just about a tree about a seed about a plant you know so it's much more beyond business you know so this is not like a business place I should say this is more like a a friend place, relationship place, you know, tr um, trading knowledge, if I can say so, experiences. Um, so yes, this is like a, a full package. It's like a family. Oh, so that's we are like a big, big family. So um, you're going to be part of the family. Then you're going to meet other people that have come to us. So we can always talk about the same subjects and the same issues. And we can pop visits. You know, sometimes my problem is that everyone calls me. Can you pop in? We have done this. We have done that. And sometimes the time is the really yeah, no, it would be to yeah. go and visit everyone and all to the have lots of cup of teas and drinks and glasses yeah. of wine. I'll be drunk all the time, so <laughs> <laughs> just sometimes. Yeah. So just one last question: um, a lot of people, when they're looking at properties, they're looking at properties that have agricultural constructions on them. So, what advice can you give those people who okay. are looking at a property that has an a brick built or, or, or the cement block built con yeah. uh, agricultural construction. Okay, so in all Portugal pretty much um, you're gonna find many plots of land, many farms with um, brick constructions, you know, concrete, because people just build them, you know, for storage tools, for put animals or the hay or this or that. So, and then we have these old, old rural constructions like the barns you know that people used before in stone um, and that's totally different discussion discussion so if you have like a um, stone building it's okay you can just renovate it and just you know make a great and comfortable place whatever it's 20 square meters or 100 square meters if you have a brick or a concrete building that's a totally different issue because it was built with no you know documents no license no permission nothing so the stone building was built many many years ago because they don't do that anymore obviously so um so if you get the stone building is okay in the matter of you know renovate it stay there live there no one will tell you hey it's illegal if you get a brick construction without documents of course uh, uh, it can be legal but if it doesn't have the legality of planning permission and license to use it, then is a different discussion. So I advise you not to go ahead, but you know, that depends on you. So I'd like to thank you for letting us video you for the channel and hopefully you've answered lots of questions. Yes, and I hope you, Miss Cindy, next time you come with like five gallons of water, <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> or you call somebody to bring you water over there yeah. and, um, and uh, what I expect from you is that you really enjoy the property I tell everyone the perfect property does not exist I've seen 1 million properties 2 million properties until now I never find like the perfect one right there's always little things that you know we wish they were different the advice for everyone guys out there is if you feel good in a place that's the tip you need to feel great you need to have that feeling in you then say oh this is not perfect but i can make this a perfect spot every day yeah so. what what i said to people because i gave people like the 15 steps yes the process for buying a farm mm -hmm. and i think i can't remember if it was step number three or four was you have to fall in love yes and i said not with the estate agent no, with the you farm <laughs> with the farm it <laughs> happens but you shouldn't no no i think it's uh, all about the feeling right yeah. just like you know when you meet someone and you have like this vibe you know mm -hmm. you feel it's something on the skin i don't know in the property is exactly the same the perfect spot does not exist but you can have that feeling and say mm, i feel okay here you know i feel good well, I don't like that thing, but I can make it better. I don't like that, but I can change it. So it's like a, a project every day, and that's what makes um, life fun. You know, it's um, it's um, 
having a project. I, I, I keep telling this even to people here, you need to have a project in life. Whatever project is to build a, a chicken house or, you know, just make your place a little bit better or change this or, you know, you need to have projects to keep you alive, I believe. And, um, and here, what I can tell you to finalize our talking, um, it's um, you can have a great life, a simple life, back to basics, I believe. But that's what makes life much appreciated. Okay. I'm always out there. Okay, so you got a campaign. Okay, we have a campaign. Oh, Chanel. This is Chanel. She's the boss in the office, actually. She's um, she's always here. So guys, if you love dogs, we love dogs also, <laughs> all of us. But uh, we have this campaign to help dogs, um, pets, cats, you know, whatever. Because I keep finding, we all keep finding dogs sometimes not as they should be treated. So, um, so if you want to help us, guys, please give us bags of food, cans, help us with shelter. You know, I always tell people, always bring us gifts after they purchase this and that to us. But I prefer if you give these guys help. Something for the dogs. Yes, because we have like um, lots of dogs in farms that we know. And we have this thing every week. We go three to, uh, two, three times, depends on the week to feed them, change water, put cool water. We do shelters. Um, of course, sometimes what the materials we get, you know, not perfect shelters, we try to do the best. Uh, just to make them a little bit happier, we have a few that they are in a chain. So we walk them twice a week, just five minutes each one of us, um, which help them quite a lot, okay? So she has lots of friends and she's very popular. She's Chanel. So say hello to Chanel, I love you. And if you come, you'll meet her. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very, very much. Ciao, guys. So if you can help an old lady grow a YouTube channel by liking, commenting below, subscribing to my channel, I post videos every week. And they are always about either my travels or some recipes or my journey to buying a farm in Portugal. So, have a good one, and I'll see you on my next adventure.